My name is Anthea Bister, and I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I am a first year Master of Fine Art candidate in the area of ceramics. My name is Nicholas Reynolds. I am a sophomore piano performance major from Portland, Oregon. My name is Janelle Taylor, and I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm a second year MFA graduate acting student at the Johnny Carson School of Theater and Film. I came to UNL because my professors and mentors uh, held the program in high regards. I decided to come to UNL when my grandparents gave my piano professor a recording and he flew me out here and I had some lessons and really liked him a lot. So I came to the Hicks and Lee College of Fine and Performing Arts for three main reasons. First of all, they offered me some great scholarships. Also, there's a lot of creative flexibility within the school and um, I like the idea of having a school that's theater and film put together. There are a lot of misconceptions about larger universities, thinking that you will not get that one-on-one -on -one attention, but I definitely don't feel that way. Uh, the college really pays attention to their students' needs, very focused on uh, what the individual student has an issue or problem with, and I feel very comfortable uh, with the interactions between myself and the faculty. We take the time to get to know the students, to challenge them individually, that they're not all just lumped together as, as a group, but because we have smaller numbers and want smaller numbers, we can get to know the students better. Throughout the college, our professors explore professional work as well as working within the school, so we get professional experience that we wouldn't get in a different situation. I'm a professional director, I'm also a teacher, but I'm a professional director out in the world. So from the beginning of your undergraduate, you're working with directors who are the same kind of directors you're going to be working with once you're in the outside world. The reason I think that's important is because it, it sets a precedent for the students. The students have great mentors if they see their faculty going out, producing work, constantly producing work. One of the reasons why I came to the Hickson League College is because it felt like a small private art school within the large public university. I think if you talk to faculty or students here at the Hickson League College of Fine and Performing Arts, you're going to find one common thread. And that is, yes, occasionally you will start out taking some big lecture classes. But once you get into your area of study, particularly within the arts, you're going to find that your classes start getting smaller and smaller. In addition to the magnificent faculty that's here, we do have performers and professionals that come in from outside that do clinics and they do concerts and they, we even get some one-on-one -on -one time with them. And it's really fabulous because we can learn from them as well. The Hickson Lead College of Fine and Performing Arts is just that. It is a college. It's a subset of the entire university. The university is a very big place, but within that is the Hickson Lead College, and that creates a arts community that I really feel like I'm part of. Within the School of Music, we have folks from all over the world that come together to study and to teach, and that's an amazing thing. They've all chosen Lincoln because it's a wonderful community to live in. In addition to the full-time faculty in the Department of Art and Art History, we have had visiting artists come in, uh, stay for a semester to teach. We also have a lot of people that come and just lecture and do studio visits with students. The Chiara String Quartet is the um, quartet that was in residency at Juilliard. They all attended Juilliard and they have since come to Nebraska. Um, they teach the ensemble course. 
I remember one particular example when Bobby McFerrin came and he worked with um, the theater class, a theater class, and he also talked to the music students, and I got to sing with him, and it was it was one of the coolest things I've ever done. It was amazing. At UNL, there's always something artistic to attend. There's theaters downtown. Um, there's concerts practically every weekend. I'd never seen a Broadway show before, so the first opportunity that the Lead Center had, I ran and got my ticket, and I just thought that was amazing. The art community in Lincoln is very strong, with the independent galleries as well as things in the hay market. And to top it off, uh, right next to our building is the Contemporary Museum, the Sheldon. We have facilities that have been around and have been staples of the arts community for a long time. Uh, something like the hall we're sitting in right now, here in Kimball, has been an important feature of the Lincoln arts community for many, many years. We have five different spaces. We have the uh, lead across the street that seats, a, it's a 2,000 seat roadhouse. Then you come back over here to the Howe Theater where we have a 400 seat proscenium theater and so we have a studio theater. So it's a diverse mix of spaces. The facilities here are great. I've heard of other schools where people have to wait for practice rooms or rehearsal spaces, but here it's never a problem. Closer to this, right up there, it's a four. We have the Ross Media Arts Center. In addition to having editing facilities, equipment storage, classroom facilities, lab facilities, a digital projection system in our giant screening room. Students have quite a few opportunities to show their work here on, on campus and those include the undergraduate juried exhibition which is held every spring and Art League also sponsors one or two shows a year. In addition to the normal curriculum and classes we also have many outside student organizations. Um, for example, we have a music education organization that's focused on jazz, and I'm a big part of that, and that's so much fun to have outside of classes. There are multiple quartets, trios, piano, duets, multiple ensembles. The College of Fine and Performing Arts has received a very large endowment from Christina Hickson and we're now a named college. It's the Hickson Lead College of Fine and Performing Arts at UNL and this money does all kinds of things for us. The film program is relatively new but we have a ton of equipment already and thanks to the Carson endowment we're getting bigger and better every year. There are all kinds of scholarships available, different grant and loan programs available, and there's a wonderful system, I think, of the faculty and the administrators working with incoming students to put together a package to make it possible. Money was definitely an issue going into this with me and my parents, and UNL has been so helpful with that, with getting me money, with helping me figure out what I'm going to do and when I'm going to do it. There are tons of scholarships, and it's really great because it can be money not only for supplies, but money you know, for tuition and that sort of a thing. If you are willing to work with the faculty and the staff, they will definitely return that effort and try to find any way possible to help you financially. What I found really appealing was the effort that, that uh, each discipline is putting forth to be collaborative and to work together. And I find that exciting because there's so much potential um, for the students to get involved that way and see how the arts can affect one another. What's so great about this school is that I have made friends in all of the arts. I have friends who are actors and actresses and artists. If a prospective student were to ask me what the single most important thing is when looking for where they should go to school, I would say you need to ask yourself, 
will that school let you do what you want to do and let you study what you want to study in the way that you would like to study it? And also, is the faculty going to be there to support you and guide you and invest time in your education? If I were giving uh, anyone advice, it would be to really investigate the faculty uh, in which you would be working with and figure out you know, if, if they're making work and interested in the same types of things that you're interested in. If I could give one piece of advice to anyone who's about to go into college, it would be not to settle for the first place that you visit, but to settle at the place that feels like home. Go visit and double check. Because you can learn a great deal through um, pamphlets, through DVDs like this, through websites, but you really need to be there. That's, that, that will tell you. UNL is a big university, but within that university is this place called home, which is the Johnny Carson School of Theater and Film. And it's a wonderful haven for me to fit in. <laughs> I love it. I want to continue my studies in grad school, and I feel like the foundation that I got here with my undergraduate degree has really made it possible for me to move on to a great program. I think UNL has really helped me um, to figure out where I'm going, you know, to put a direction in my work. Working with the faculty and the staff and everybody employed by Hicks and Lee is just going to give you unparalleled experiences and it's just going to give you so much more that you never would have got anywhere else. There is no place like Nebraska.